everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of City Skylines where Vladistan. we continue the great nation of Vladistan. So let's salute together comrades to this great nation that we have constructed over the last 13 Vladistan. or so episodes. But today is a very exciting episode. We have done obviously this massive districts that you guys have seen. But in today's episode we are finally going to begin the greatest Vladistan. project of them all. The Vladistan space program. That is right. We gotta build rockets and we gotta go into space. Okay, we want to be the first nation on this planet to establish a colony on Mars. So that is going to be our task for today's episode. We gotta build rockets, we gotta Vladistan. build science centers, we gotta Vladistan. build so much goddamn stuff. And eventually, I'm gonna get myself like a lovely apartment on Mars. So if you guys, if you guys would like a ticket on a Vladistani ship to Mars, all you have to do is turn on post notifications. That's right. Definitely not a scam. If you turn on post notifications, leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Guess what, buddy? You're on your way to Mars, okay? You're gonna be one of the brave colonists that is going to go there. But anyway, so I think I actually have found the perfect location for this build. And it's going to be right here. As you guys can see, it's on a slight hill. And this area is extremely flat also. We've got like an amazing view of Vladistan from the distance. So, you know what? I think this is going to be absolutely perfect. I mean, look at all this area that we can work with. So, we can cram it like over here on this edge. And I think it's going to look fantastic we're gonna have like cargo ships coming in with parts for the rockets and whatnot so i think it's going to be fantastic so first things first i think we have to begin with making some sort of a road a nice road going over here that i think is going to be worthy of a massive space center so the way i'm going to do this is i think we're gonna get one of these okay a four lane road with decorative trees just like that actually what is this one large avenue with grass that's with parking spaces. We don't want bloody parking spaces here. Are you kidding me? What the hell is this? Is this some sort of like Western propaganda? Question is, do we want these trees? No. Actually, trees look bad. Okay, they look absolutely hideous. So the way we're going to do this, I wanted to make it look like it's like a proper science center. I'm going to have this road, which is going to run alongside here just like so i think that's gonna look pretty nice just like that and i kind of enjoy how vladistan is such a supreme nation that instead of building like an airport we are starting with a goddamn space program that is right that's that's just how we do things in vladistan okay we don't like to do things the conventional way so that's why we're gonna have a space program instead of having an airport and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make like this nice little pattern and then we can potentially get rid of these roads so it's gonna be like a real funky design and everybody is gonna go whoa this is like absolutely crazy what you've done here Vadak. okay so we need to get some science centers and whatnot and i kind of want this thing to be exactly in the middle i think i might be able to move it with the move it tool wait oh are you kidding me what do we need for this what do we need assembly building wait we can place this down <gasps> Oh, we can actually place this down if you guys can believe it. Oh my god. How much does this cost? Is this super... This costs only 20,000 Vlad coins? Wow. That is actually crazy. You know what? We're going to place it on the corner just like that. <gasps> Look at this. Look at this. This is where we're going to construct all of our rockets. And it even has, like, the little bit where the rocket is going to come out onto the launch pad. Oh my god. I am so excited right now. You guys have no idea. We are properly making this. Okay, can I potentially upgrade this to, to like a proper road? Or should we keep it like that? You know what? Let's just keep it like that for the time being. Let's just expand it all the way out here just like that. And potentially we can like curve it around. And then the launch pads are going to be over here. Like we, we need a few launch pads. Okay, because it's going to be key. We need to like launch resupply missions to this place like all the time. So that's why we'll need to have it. And we can have like maybe like a shuttle bus that's going to go all the way out here. Oh my god, this facility is going to be so high tech. You guys are going to be extremely happy about it. If not, guess what buddy? 
you're gonna be sent to the gulag pretty freaking fast, okay? I almost said the F word, but you know what? I'm trying to be politically correct, and I'm trying to be, like, super friendly. So we can give, like, a nice impression of Vladistan. Because let's be honest, Vladistan currently is, uh, you know, we don't care about what others think, but, like, that image is slowly changing. We're slowly evolving to be like, yeah, maybe we might have to be a little bit politically correct, so that way we get Western spies into our nation and they don't suspect anything. They just come in and they're like, oh my god, this nation is so perfect. First thing they get is a goddamn one-way train ticket to a goddamn gulag. Oh, pfft. these guys are gonna be like, they're not gonna see it coming. They're gonna be so surprised. They're gonna be caught with their pants down and they won't know what hit them. It's going to be absolutely amazing. But look at this. This actually already looks really goddamn nice. So we're gonna connect this with the rest of the pipage system right here, just like that. Is this good? Is this perfect? I think this is absolutely fantastic looking. And look at that! We've got no more water problems anymore, which is perfect. Do we have any, like, sort of high-tech power stations or any of that sort of stuff? Oh, we might- I think we might need, like, nuclear power over here. That would be pretty nice if we had, like, one of the nuclear stations over here to provide us with all the power we will need to power this incredible facility. But let's not do that just yet, okay? I still need to figure out how to do this thing precisely and how to do this thing accordingly and very nicely, okay? So what else do we have? Do we have, like, any other buildings? Ooh, we have this science center. Oh, I already got this. I already placed this down, so we don't need another science center. Never mind. Okay, so we've got one of those, like, vehicle assembly stations, which is fine. We don't need another one. What else? <gasps> Here it is. Here it is, boys. Here are our amazing rockets that we're going to have. Oh my god, I am so excited for this. You guys have no idea. Having like a whole bunch of rockets that are going to be launched from this facility, I think it's going to look so goddamn good. So goddamn good, and all of these Western spies are going to be extremely jealous when they come into this great nation and they see that we have a perfect space program, which is definitely not a disguise for nuclear weapons program. No, no, no. I would never do something like that. So now I have to figure out how to do this road. How to do it, like, properly to make it seem like these vehicles are gonna get, like, rolled out of this facility and onto the launch pad. So I think I might have to cut this a little bit short, and we might have to turn this around just a tiny bit, and potentially have, like, monorails right next door. Is that going to look pretty good if we have monorails? I think that could look pretty nice. <gasps> this does look pretty nice. Look at that. So, like, people can actually witness the building of all of these rockets. But it's gonna come around here, and then it's gonna run, like, parallel to this road, just like that. And then it's gonna, like, basically connect maybe potentially, like, over here with the main road. And then it's gonna go out. It's gonna go out into the wild, and it's eventually gonna connect with the city. But I think this kind of, like, monorail system is going to look so goddamn good. And we can have, like, this facility looking super high-tech, which I already like. So let me go ahead and curve this road to make it seem like it's actually going to lead to a launch pad. So let's do it like that. A nice 90 degree angle and then we do this just like that and oh my god this looks perfect how's our city doing everything all right with the city we have small garbage problems but apart from that everything is looking good all the citizens are very happy right now which makes me a very happy cookie myself maybe what we can do here right is do another curve out here so it's gonna curve around and it's gonna go back and then essentially these launch platforms are gonna be placed alongside this dirt road which is obviously gonna go out here and then it's gonna do like a nice little connecting curve just like that oh my god perfect okay so now let's get these rockets placed i think they're gonna look so goddamn good once we like start placing them down look at this we've got rocket number one no i can only place one rocket are you kidding me come on so technically right since we can only place one rocket we don't really need this we don't need this bit right here, because what's the point, okay, if we can only have one rocket right now? I might have to speak to the Vladistani official for the next video to potentially grant us some more rockets. I think that's going to be fantastic. And actually, can I, like, rotate this thing to make it so it's facing everybody? 
so they can, like, watch this amazing spectacle that's going to happen, just like that. I think we might have to, like, do some sort of, like, terrain molding or some sort of, like, a prop system over here to make it look even more believable. First of all, let me just carry this monorail all the way out here. So I think it has to, like, curve around here. No, no, no. It's ca it can't curve right here. It needs to curve like that. Just like that. It's gonna go past this launch platform, just like this. And then it's gonna curve out here. Actually, no, let's let it just finish right there. That looks actually perfect right now. But how are we gonna do like something over here? I feel like we need some blocks of concrete, but I don't think I've got props like that. You know what we actually need? I think I have one of those, but where the hell is it? That is the question. I'm pretty sure I've got like a massive antenna tower that we can potentially place down. High-tech disposal facility? the fuck is this? Is this like a garbage disposal system? Oh shit! I've got a new garbage disposal system! Let me just plunk that in the city and let's have a look at this. Wow! This actually looks spectacular! I had no idea! I had no idea I had something like that! Fantastic! That makes me extremely happy for the time being and look at that. Okay, damn it. I'm so annoyed we can't place another rocket down but we do have like this tiny little rocket but I'm not sure how it's going to look. Also, technically we need to get like a thousand abandoned buildings. I just don't know how to do that. I was thinking about placing this, but look at that. <laughs> look at the size difference! What the hell is that meant to be? That's ridiculous. That is actually redonkulous. Okay, so let's get this power down over here. So, you know what? Let's just place down this nuclear power plant because I feel like that's going to produce a whole bunch of stuff for us and it's going to be fantastic. Look at the power output on it. It's just crazy. It is absolutely mind-blowing. So, I think what we're going to do is place this power output uh, right about here. I think that might actually look nice right next to this like facility So it looks like when you take the monorail you can actually stop by here and everybody is gonna go whoa we that is nice That is nice, but I, I can't believe you've made something look so spectacular in Vladistan and I'll be like hell yeah, brother Why didn't you believe in me from the very beginning? Okay, I'm kind of disappointed that you would doubt me, but um, hey, it's in the past now Okay, it's in the past and look at this we can even place like these monorails just like that so it looks like it's going to connect very nicely Oh my god, this is a high-tech facility at this point. This is like a super high-tech facility. Look at this Why are you not producing power? Can you like produce more power? Thank you very much. Oh, you're not connected. I see Okay, don't worry about it I'm gonna place some more buildings over here and you're gonna be empowered in no time. All right Okay, we're gonna have a stadium simply because it looks like a modern building and I mean these scientists over here need to You know entertain themselves somehow and by that I mean they're gonna have like an amazing building right there Which is gonna keep them entertained because we're gonna order like strippers to it every evening every Friday Friday night after a hard day of work preparing like probes for Mars All you have to do is stop by this amazing place to find yourself a little bit of company if you're feeling a little bit lonely That's right. Vladistan actually looks out for its people if you guys can believe it I know it's sometimes hard to believe that the great leader of Vladistan would concern himself with like the problems of the peasants, but hey, what can I say? You know, I actually try and look out for my people. Oh shit, I need to get one of these like hubs over here working. Are you shitting me right now? Just like that. Is this actually going to look good? Ooh, that looks super high tech. I like it. So what we can do here, right? We can technically upgrade this road to like a monorail road. Oh, that's going to be so good. So if I were, to now connect this bit just like that and have this connect just like that. Does that look good? Oh my god, it does. It totally does. It looks so spectacular and look at that. We've got an amazing monorail system right now. Okay, I need to change this up a little bit because I've made a big boo-boo, okay? What I need to do here is get this monorail once again and connect it very nicely just like that. And then we can upgrade this, right? to make it connect with this station. Oh my god, that looks so good. That looks so goddamn good, you guys have no idea. I think I'm very proud of this, I think, because I'm not 100% sure just yet. Okay, so I think we might need some power lines to run parallel to here, but I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. And look at that, now they have power. Now they have power over here, and I think they're going to be extremely happy. How is a rocket looking? A rocket keeps disappearing when I back out. Why do you keep doing that? Like, explain that to me, please. 
I need like a logical explanation behind this because I don't understand. I really don't understand. Should we have like this space looking elevator just behind it? Oh, okay. So this could provide like all the power to this rocket. Is that actually going to work? I wonder. That fixed the problem. Wow. That actually looks pretty good right now. And look at this. This facility is slowly taking shape. I mean, it is pretty open right now. So we do have to like populate with like a whole bunch of buildings, but I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. So let me quickly do that. Let me go ahead and place some like very nice buildings over here. So then this place actually looks like it's a high tech facility where they construct spaceships to go to Mars. And look at that, this space center is already taking shape. So what I've decided to do is just add a whole bunch of beautification. So I put some lights, some radars, antenna dishes, some fuel depots, these radar dishes, an antenna tower, I mean the water tower, that's what I meant to say. Some art galleries, like garbage disposal, all sorts of stuff to make it look like industrial and like an actual research science center. Also I've connected this road, but uh, yeah, that does not not look good but hey it's working look at this the monorail are just going back and forth which i think looks absolutely fantastic so what we have to do now since this is kind of like our top secret space program we do have to make sure that nobody stumbles into this facility so First things first, I think we have to place some fences around it. And I learned a new trick when I was live streaming City Skylines. Just in case you guys don't know, I live stream City Skylines every Sunday on my Twitch. I don't do Vladistan, but we do like a completely different city where I practice ideas and get like some cool things together. So I have been live streaming on there and turns out you can copy and paste things in this game. So for example, if I were to make like a little wall like this, just like that, it's gonna come out here just like so and then what we're gonna do using the move it tool which is absolutely fantastic I should be able to select this thing and copy it so if I'm not mistaken just like that if we just like select it and now we copy it and look at this look at this you seen this this is like next gen I have no idea something like that was even possible but I am so happy that I've discovered this it was actually one of my viewers in the chat that told me about it and it was just like whoa revolutionary he got hired as the Vladistan scientist chief of science chief of magic tricks and chief of all things awesome that's right he got that promotion straight away and I didn't kind of tell him about the promotion just yet because I had to pay him more so I decided eh, how about I'm just like, can I keep my mouth shut for the time being? And maybe he would just like forget about it and won't like, you know, constantly complain that Vladistan has scammed him of his titles because he brought this revolutionary product to Vladistan and Vladistan just took it and ran with it. No, we would never do something like that. I think it's going to look kind of good and I hope it's not going to like disappear when I zoom out kind of like a rocket does because that is just like a disgrace. How the hell can a rocket disappear when we get a far away from it? I know we are developing some cloaking mechanisms, some cloaking technology, but we didn't actually use it on the rocket. So I think that could have been experimental science that we have done on the rocket and it has turned invisible when you get too far away from it. But look at that! Holy shit. Okay, it does kind of disappear. But fear not, it's all okay. It's all okay. Should we do like any more sort of like walls over here potentially? I think that might look kind of good in some places, but for the most part actually, I think this place is taking shape, taking shape very goddamn nicely. So obviously over here, we have to create like a tiny little checkpoint. So what I'll do, right, is I'll place down this like concrete over here and we're gonna have like a couple of tanks and whatnot. What the hell are you? I don't want you. <gasps> Actually, I might want you. <gasps> oh, shit. Hold on, boys. That kind of changes everything. We could potentially have like a massive wall. A huge wall going around here. Or potentially around this rocket launch site. So like... Whenever the, the rocket takes off, obviously it's gonna spew a lot of fumes into the air. So if we like potentially do something like this, it's gonna make it look like it actually serves a purpose. Or maybe we can like do it over here. That might actually look pretty good. Look at this. If we have it like that, right? And then we use the move it tool. No, we don't want you. Please, please, please deselect yourself, you stupid. And then have it go up like this. Is that actually gonna look good? It's gonna go into this. Oh my god. It looks like these facilities are now connected. Oh, that is looking pretty spectacular, if you ask me. 
I think that looks super spectacular. And you know what we might have to do here? Potentially put down some commercials so these guys can buy like, you know, some sort of uh, souvenirs when they come into this amazing space center. But I am pretty happy with how this space center is turning out for the time being. But I think we might have to do a little bit of terraforming, okay? We might have to start place down a few trees here and there. So let me do that. Let me go ahead and do that right now. Let me select some of these trees. I think these trees is what we're looking for. Create a brush size and brush strength. Look at this. And now we're just going to start placing some of these trees. Fantastic. So it's actually going to look good because at the moment, you know, this place is very barren. It's It doesn't have like much going for it. So we have to like change that a little bit. And look at that. Obviously, we're going to have like trees inside the facility to make it look a little bit more beautiful and a little bit more believable. But we're not going to have like too many trees on the outside just in case somebody tries to sneak into this facility. But once again, there's going to be like plenty of signs in the forest and throughout the fields just telling everybody it's like, listen, buddy, okay, if you're trying to sneak into the great facility, don't, okay? There's like witches and wizards in the forest that have like explosive mines, I mean explosive uh, spells that will blow you into a million bits if you get too close to our facility. So if I were you, I would just like kind of keep clear and don't do anything stupid. Thank you very much. You know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and add like even more beautification of by hand to make this look like even nicer and also i think we might need like some sort of a uh you know dead body collector because for some people for some people this this facility is too much to handle as you guys can see they're dying they're dying in our facility in our space center i just don't understand why okay jesus christ what is going on here I have no idea. All right, guys, so this is kind of what I came up with, but I did speak to the Vadict officials and look at this. Look at this. They have granted us a whole bunch of cool stuff. As you guys can see, we've got more rockets. We've got more rocket programs that I'm very excited for, so we have to place them down before we wrap up today's episode. As you guys can see, we have a space shuttle and a Soyuz rocket. So all I have to do here is obviously connect these bad boys to the rest of these trucks just like that. And oh my god, I am so excited right now because as you guys can see now, we have obviously like an exploration rocket. A couple of exploration rockets, for example, this one is going to be sending out probes to space. This one is going to go into lower Earth orbit. And this one is going to eventually take us to Mars, which I think is going to be absolutely fantastic. Also, I wanted to place down some of these bad boys, but unfortunately, I don't have enough money. I mean, they would suit this place amazingly, but as you guys can see, yikes, they are kind of expensive. They are super, super, super expensive. So let's have a look. Like, we've got this thing as well. I'm not sure what this does. Apparently, it goes into water and it does, like, floating gardens. What the hell is that meant to mean? Oh, apparently, it just, like, people love visiting those gardens. Okay, fair enough. So let's place another one of these buildings over here. Like I said, guys, we need to make this super goddamn beautiful. Also, I wanted to have, like, this office building over here somewhere, but I'm not sure how it's going to look exactly. Just bear with me. <gasps> we can have the Illuminati Pyramid. Can you guys believe that? Oh, my God. I'm so excited right now. I never had an Illuminati Pyramid in... Oh, my God. It, it's like a, a, a... It was a dream of mine, okay? As a little kid growing up, where when I wasn't the president of Vladistan, I always wanted to have, you know my personal, my personal goddamn Illuminati tower. But now I think my prayers have finally been answered and I think we're gonna be able to do it. Also, let's place this tower of transportation over here, just like that. And then we can place the Illuminati tower right here so we can witness what's gonna go down in this beautiful, beautiful facility. I mean, look at that. I think that looks spectacular already. So what we have to do with this tower of transportation is move it around like this to make it look like the monorail actually goes inside it. And I think that's gonna look so goddamn cool. So this is basically going to be like an amazing viewing tower for all the launches once they occur in this beautiful space center that we have created in today's episode. You guys have no idea how happy I am with this. Like this turned out genuinely amazing. I mean, look at that. We've got all of these great facilities, all of these rockets and everything. I don't think we need anything else. I think that's about it. I mean, we have this as well, but uh, do we need it anywhere as like a facility? How about we just like put it in the corner just like that? Just to do like more science-y 
type of stuff. What the hell is this? Western flags. Bastardo. But anyway, guys, that is gonna do it for yet another episode of City Skylines. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. It's a bit of a longer one simply because I was like so happy building a space like this, okay? A space center. I am just so happy and thrilled that we are going to go to Mars eventually in a future episode. But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel for plenty more City Skylines, and as always, thank you so much for watching, hope you're gonna have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time, take care, bye, bye 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 bye. Bloody stun, bloody stun. <laughs>